Uh, whereas on the deferred sales trough of the DST plus, you're getting out of the estate uh, or there are other techniques to get it out of the estate and you're not worried about the capital gains and you're not worried about the estate taxes. I want to go into a live example now or just either a deal story or just a general example just so we can really hammer this home. Let's just say someone's worth $100 million, Michael, and all $100 million is inside the taxable estate. Uh, and they're in their 60s, okay? And and maybe they're worth 125 and they've gifted some out over the years, you know, and but they, they run out of those gifting amounts and they're selling a, a $50 million apartment complex, okay? So... Um, they could sell that, move it into the Deferred Sales Trust Plus in com combination, move it outside the taxable estate in one single day, and that would save them or their estate at that given point 40% on $50 million. Okay? Um, 20 million. Any, anything I'm missing there? No, no it would yeah. be, uh, it could save them upwards to $20 million. Mm -hmm on that one transaction. Mm -hmm. You can fact check me that. that that's uh, public school <laughs> uh, math in the head yeah, there. Yep. But the, uh, the, uh, that's an important thing is maybe, the, uh, maybe you don't want your children to have that obligation. Mm -hmm. um, maybe you don't want to have your children liquidate uh, an investment at the wrong time. And then again, you've got that double whammy uh, situation going on, which is uh, not being a good steward uh, for continuity. Um, maybe you want to control, maybe you've got a special needs child uh, that is in, that may not be capable. Sometimes we have children that are spendthrifts uh, that will just, hey, Ferraris, Lamborghinis, whatever, and uh, just go crazy and uh, deteriorate the assets. So it's important to have that continuity because that can exacerbate whatever that expense is. $20 million, okay, you got 50 million, you say, but what if it what if at the time of death, it's 50 million, and then the next day, it's 20 million? That, government doesn't care. They, they care about when you filed what's called a 706. The 706 is either at death or six months thereafter. And that's, your know, 706 is like the 1040 form. Once you file that and claim that, it's very difficult to reclaim that number. If valuations drop, doesn't matter. So the step up in basis is both a blessing and a curse. So step up says that you get, um, let's say you bought it for 20 million and now it's worth 50 million. You die. Well, the heirs get it at 50 million. Oops, little mistake here. It's a blessing on the capital gains side, but not so much on the uh, 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 asset side for the estate taxes. So capital gains are eliminated, but guess what's cheaper? Capital gains or estate taxes? Well, estate taxes wind up being more expensive in, in, in most states, including California, slightly more. So it, uh, it's, it's at a certain level, the step up in basis says, okay, this is my value. But it also says to the IRS, this is, this is the estate size. So there's a, a, a trade-off there at a certain level for the step up in basis itself. Uh, whereas on the deferred sales trough of the DST plus, you're getting out of the estate uh, or there are other techniques to get it out of the estate and you're not worried about the capital gains and you're not worried about the estate taxes. Those are two major issues uh, that, you know, it's kind of a whack-a-mole thing. Okay, I hit that one and then I got, I got the other problem. So it does solve, uh, it, it can mitigate, I don't know about solve, but it really does mitigate uh, those kinds of issues uh, for um, continuity. So well said, Michael. And I'm thinking of two other things too, by the way. Also the growth inside, once it's in the DST plus, and so you sell that $50 million asset, you can move it into stocks, bonds, mutual funds. You can perhaps move it into other real estate too. Um, and uh, hard money lending, you know, different, different vehicles there. Not only is that 50 million outside the taxable estate, you just saved the 20, okay? Not only are you deferring all the capital gains tax. Now, though, the growth of it as well, uh, you know, if it grows to 60 or 70 before you pass, all of that growth is outside the taxable estate. Now, to be fair, you don't get, your heirs will not get the stepped up basis. 
um, because um, this is an exit strategy, right? You literally sold it, right? It, it, you're not, it's not a continuity strategy, but your kids can step into your shoes. It can pass inside of your living trust and your heirs can step into your shoes. And when they step into your shoes, they can continue the tax deferral, okay? But they don't get that stepped up basis. But if you do the math, it more than makes up for it because again, you don't need, they may not need to cash out all, all at once. So I want to mention that part. Any, any thoughts on that, Michael? No, I, th I think that's well said. I think that's, that's beautiful. Excellent.